Um, can capitalism really lift everyone out of poverty through hard work? If so, why do we have so many poor people after several generations of capitalist development? All right, so a few things I would say to that. One is, as I said at the beginning, we've never really had capitalism. So there would be a lot fewer poor people, maybe no poor people in the world today, or at least in America today, if we truly had capitalism. Second, you're assuming you, there's an assumption in the question. If capitalism can bring everybody out of poverty through hard work, not everybody works hard. Not everybody wants to work hard. Not everybody's willing to work hard. Third, as poor as people are in the United States today, they're only poor on a relative scale. They're poor relative to the middle class and the rich. But the poor in the United States are significantly richer than the poor in many other countries in the world. They're significantly richer than the rich were 200 years ago. I mean, most poor in the United States, I think the numbers are 70, 80, 90 percent, have eight, eight, eight conditioning. They have automobiles. They have iPhones or the equivalent of iPhones. That's not poverty in an absolute sense. That's nowhere near the $2 a day or less that 95% of humanity was living under and 8% still lives under. So if you want to get people out of poverty, capitalism is the only system that's ever brought them out. What we need is more consistent, consistent capitalism. And you have to realize that in every society, there will always be inequality. There will always be some people poorer than other people because they're less productive, because they work less hard. For whatever reason, there are always going to be those differences. But, you know, if you, take, if you take today, I don't know, whatever GDP per capita is today, whatever income is today, let's say income is today, um, a, a somebody poor in the United States, let's say income is about uh, uh, $25,000 a year. Okay. Somebody poor in the United States making 2000 bucks a month, something around that. Now imagine the economy grew... I, you know, I don't know, I should pull out my calculator. But imagine the economy grows at 2% uh, a year for the next 40 years. So 1.02, oops, I need to go this way. 1.02 to the power of 40. That's not right. Anybody do this calculation? You know what I'm trying to do? Yeah, so in 40 years, that $25,000 in real terms, if we go 2% real, would be something like 12x. So they wouldn't be making 25,000. How much would they be working? Let's say it's 10x. Let's say they'd be making $250,000 a year. At $250,000 a year, is there anybody poor? Remember, this is real growth. This is above inflation. No. $250,000 a year, you wouldn't call yourself poor today. Imagine the growth rate is not 4% or 5%. It's exponential. So it's not just double. It's many times that number. And now that's the difference between capitalism and statism. Today we grow at 2% a year. Under capitalism, we could go at 4 to 5% a year. At 4 to 5% a year, you get rid of the, the, anybody making 25000 a year. You get rid of that within a generation. And within a generation, you don't have poor people. So yes, capitalism does eradicate poverty if we view it from an absolute sense rather than a relative.